Hello there, thank you for joining in. This is Goldie again. Welcome back to the Google Conflicting Accounts video series. In the past, we have discussed a lot about what are conflicting accounts and how do you handle them in regular scenarios. But in today's video, I wanted to talk about a very advanced use case or very specific use case, I would say, which is uh, Google Conflicting Accounts and a third party identity provider that you might be using in your Google Workspace or Google Cloud identity. So uh, how do we handle our conflicting or consumer accounts in that specific case? And for that, uh, let's understand the way IDPs are configured to provision users into your Google Cloud identity or Google Workspace directory. So one side you have your identity provider that may be uh, organizations like Okta, Ping, Azure, etc. And then on the other side, you have your Google Cloud directory. You know, you can call it Google Cloud Identity or Workspace, uh, but essentially it's a Google directory. And then, you know, within your IDP, you might have configured uh, some rules and you know, scope to tell which users should be provisioned in Google Cloud directory. And uh, all of these identity providers, including the prominent ones that are listed here, they use Google's directory API to provision these users and groups and members, etc. Now, the point to note here is that Google's directory API does not detect whether an account is a consumer account already or not. It will just go ahead and provision that user. So in case if you leverage any of these identity providers, or maybe you have created your own provisioning utility leveraging Google's directory API just like them, please do not use it right away. Because if you use it to provision all your users, all your users will be created at once, which means you will lose an opportunity to send a data transfer request to those consumer accounts. These users will be created for sure, but you will lose the opportunity to get data from those transfer consumer accounts to these work accounts. Okay, so what do you do as a solution then? Because directory API does not detect consumer or conflicting account. Well, I think this is what you should do. Number one, uh, you should find consumer accounts that are created with your corporate email address, and you can easily do that by uh, you know leveraging transfer tool utility. I will link my video here in that I showed you how you can find consumer accounts in your Google Admin Console. Now, once you have the list of these consumer accounts, preferably in a CSV downloaded list, then you should do your outreach, which means you know you will reach out to all these users uh, with your internal survey tool or whatever mechanism you have internally to outreach. Uh, asking in case if these consumer accounts have any corporate data inside those consumer accounts and then once you have that information then you should be in a position to make the decision and that decision can be for example for users that these consumer accounts who come back to you saying we do not have any corporate data in our accounts though we do have consumer accounts then you can either consider to create them via IDP, which means you will claim their work account and their existing account will be renamed. We covered that in the previous videos. However, if you if, if some consumer accounts uh, owners come to you saying, yes, we do have the data in these consumer accounts that belong to the company and we would prefer to migrate that data to the work account, then you should exclude these users in your identity pro uh, provider provisioning rule. So most of the prominent identity providers uh, give you an option to do, you know, customized ruling. So for example, you can say only provision users in Google if these users are part of this group, but not part of my consumer exclusion group. So you can do that ruling here, uh, which will help you provision only the users which are you know which got great green signal to be provisioned but not the ones which have data inside their consumer accounts and they would prefer to migrate it and then you should follow a different approach for those users which is to send them transfer 
request that I have covered in another video that I will also link in the description below. So that was about handling conflicting accounts when you are leveraging third party identity provider. But what about authentication for users that already have consumer account and you're turning on single sign on via third party IDP. So let's cover that now. So for authentication, Google's system is intelligent enough to differentiate between consumer accounts and your corporate accounts, even if both of them belong to a same domain. So as you see here, when the user goes and enter his or her email address to log into Google services, Google will do the identity provider lookup behind the scene uh, based on whether the user is coming with a consumer or personal account or whether it's a corporate or managed or work account. And based on that, if you have configured third party single sign on and your users are logging with uh, their work account, then they will be redirected to the identity provider, assuming they are not super admins because super admins are uh, by design configured to bypass single sign on so that in case of any issue, they can come back, log in with their Google credentials and do the troubleshooting that's required. But in case if those users are, you know, trying to log in with their personal or unmanaged accounts, then they will go to Google as their identity provider because they are not a work account. So they should not be redirected to the third party IDP. And it seems I have made a typo in unmanaged, but hope you get the idea. I hope it was helpful, especially in case if you're dealing with conflicting accounts and have third party identity provider configured with your Google Cloud identity or Google Workspace. If you have any questions, comments or feedback, do not hesitate to put that under this video and I will be happy to collaborate. Thank you so much.